Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott inch towards going Instagram official. And Beyonce rocks an affordable pregnancy look and reveals some delivery demands. Does Zayn's absence from the Met Gala mean relationship trouble for him and Gigi? We're talking all about this on Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. What's up, guys? Welcome to Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. I'm Madison Hill. And I'm Keaton Markey. The Blondes are bringing you the news this Friday. And first up, we are talking about Kylie, obviously, because we love Kylie love here. Love our Kylie news. But we're talking about her because she just Instagrammed this picture from the, from the Met Gala. I mean, she Instagrammed it a couple days after. And everyone's freaking out because guess who's in it? Not Tyga. Not Tyga. <laughs> it is Travis Scott. So people are freaking out and saying that this is their first little stride towards becoming Instagram official, even though it's a group pick. So what do you think? I don't know. Didn't they have some group picks from Coachella together? They did. So I'm just, I'm wondering if she's still not... For sure. For sure with him. Well, the reason also why people are kind of questioning this photo is because Kendall and Kylie are also flipping off the camera, which I was like, girls, <laughs> we are at the Met Gala. It is a classy event. Let's keep those fingers down. I know. But people are speculating that that was a message to Tyga, AKA saying like, look at us, F you. I'm trying not to do it, obviously. And look, <laughs> I'm with Travis Scott and all of these amazing people. Well, Tyga obviously was not invited. Um, so <laughs> Are we shocked? Not really. But honestly, <laughs> after all these, you know, Instagram and like kind of this rude behavior, mm -hmm. I question if any of them will be invited next year. <laughs> so I don't know, like whether it's a message to Tyga or not, like just rude. Keaton does not want that unclassy behavior at the Met Gala next year. No, <laughs> I, I don't know. I just like, you're not allowed to take selfies. You're not allowed to do any of that stuff and maybe that one selfie like okay that was a cool thing right. like I was like really like that was fun to see but like come on girls I don't care who's in the selfie with you I don't care what type of relationship you're trying <laughs> to talk about so you're not feeling the Travis Scott Kylie no not real stuff. not you know okay I I yeah no okay someone no. else this week who's <laughs> making waves on Instagram is our girl Beyonce because Literally, is there anything Beyonce does wrong? No. No, there's nothing. And even when it comes to her pregnancy <laughs> style, people were freaking out because she posted these really hilarious pictures, just totally embracing her big belly, which I love. I, I mean, yeah. the woman's carrying twins, so cut her a little slack. Well, and she always seems to look good. Like, her pregnancy fashion is on point. Oh, and yeah. I love that she's really sharing this pregnancy with her fans more than the last I one. I know, causing us to speculate tons about the, <laughs> the gender of the twins. But anyway, people really loved this $23 ASOS tee that says Preggers, which I just thought it was hilarious. I thought it was so, so cute. But like, not only did they love this shirt, but in this Instagram post as well, it kind of looked like Beyonce had some lip injections. I know, and everyone was freaking out, but her reps came out and said, obviously that's not true. Yeah, people swell when you're pregnant. I she's mean, she's just swollen. Beyonce can do no wrong. <laughs> Leave her alone. The woman's carrying twins. Let's cut her a little slack. <laughs> but also people are kind of freaking out because she revealed some delivery plans. A source did to Life and Style. Well, according to uh, the source, she's going to have a decoy team in place at Cedar sinai to throw off fans and photographers. She's requesting that cameras be removed from the room, hall, and elevator, which I think is smart. Like It's smart, but people were laughing because apparently those cameras are in place for safety. Oh. So that's kind of a little contradictive, but of course, you know, if anyone can get a hospital to just throw away their safety features, it's probably going to be Jay-Z and Beyonce. Let's be real. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, and but it's, I want this to be a private moment for them. They have, they do share so much of their public lives with mm -hmm. us. So let their pregnancy and their, you know, delivery be a private thing and it's a high risk pregnancy too so right. we got to keep her, you got to keep her safe exactly. keep the queen safe <laughs> <laughs> exactly lastly we are talking about Gigi Hadid and Zayn Malik Gigi was just recently spotted leaving Taylor Swift's New York apartment which makes me happy because Taylor Swift has totally been out of the spotlight so at least we know she's alive and well. She's alive and well. Uh, apparently, I think she's been working on an album in yes. Nashville. So yes. she's back in New York. Though. Back and forth, clearly. <laughs> um, so, but people were kind of questioning this, thinking that Gigi might have been visiting Taylor for a little BFF support because her and Zayn might be having some trouble, which again, I know everyone's going to freak out on us in the comments. <laughs> we love Gigi and Zayn together. We do. We do not want these to be true, but we got to tell you what people are saying. So apparently after Zayn hurt his foot, we still don't really know how he hurt his foot. His reps just say, oh, he did it and he's fine. 
but people are saying that he heard it at that rager video shoot slash party at his London house, that it was a drunken fall. Which I'm sure lots of people have been Everybody's there. Been there. Everybody's been there. We don't blame you, Zane. But the problem was strippers were rumored to be at that party. So that's strike Not everybody's one. been there. No, that's strike <laughs> one. And then two people started freaking out because he didn't come to the Met Gala. Well. Gigi walked the carpet alone. She slayed it. Whatever. But some people say he didn't show up because obviously he was in a wheelchair from his foot. But other people are speculating. Trouble in paradise. I don't know. I think... I think these two are still going strong. I believe that if Zane, you know, if he hurt his foot, he hurt his foot. Like, mm -hmm. nobody wants to be at a party walking and stuff. Right. And, like, this is the thing. Like, those two killed it last year at the Met Gala. Oh, yeah. They, Matching they're, outfits they're out, all. Yeah, their outfits match and everything. And so, like, I feel like if he really wanted to be there, like, we're, and they had, I think they even broke up post Met Gala last year right. for a little bit. So there was trouble in paradise last year and they still went together. So I'm gonna blame it on the foot. I'm gonna believe that they are still <laughs> together. And there there were no strippers at that party. <laughs> okay, so keeping this all for Gigi and Zane. But now I wanna know what you guys think. Does the Instagram make Kylie and Travis Scott official, even though it was a group shot? Are you loving Beyonce's pregnancy style? And what do you think of her demands? A little too much, or are they just Beyonce? And are <laughs> Zayn and Gigi okay? We must know what you're thinking. Talk it all out in the comments below, and we'll see you guys next week right here on Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. Happy weekend.